and gentlemen, welcome to Set List. Stand up without a net, live at the Soho Theatre in London. Some of the UK's favorite comedians will be coming on stage with no preparation whatsoever. We'll tell them what they're going to be talking about in stand up created in the moment and under pressure. What could possibly go wrong? Tonight, it's the never before seen set list of Dara O'Brien. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure and a delight to be here, ladies and gentlemen, doing, making every effort to find... Comedy goes in so many exciting directions, ladies and gentlemen. That's the most important thing. This is one of those directions. But there are even further directions, ladies and gentlemen. People don't expect it. People aren't going, that's where I'll go to hear a few laughs, ladies and gentlemen. But it's in there. It's in there if you look hard enough, ladies and gentlemen. It helps if you speak Arabic. Otherwise, you're just going, ah, squiggles. Uh, and in which case, there's nothing for you there. Because frankly, one page looks much the same as the next. You can join them up and pretend some of them are characters and some of them are cartoon strip. The rules to which only you understand. You can box them off randomly. Join the dots, ladies and gentlemen. I can see your face. No, that's particularly wrong. Okay. <laughs> but the last thing you want to do is that, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot say that enough. Okay. Because the kind of fuckers who believe that are gone in the fucking head. That's something that worries me, ladies and gentlemen. People who believe stuff about themselves which is untrue. People who have syndromes, ladies and gentlemen, like the one that is presumably on the wall behind me here, right? I don't know how the fuck this shit works, ladies and gentlemen, on a technical level, but I think you shall be nodding furiously. Yeah, those assholes, ladies and gentlemen. Those assholes who think we've all got to fucking sit back and hear about their fucking wedding. I don't want to hear about it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm too busy drawing cartoons in the Quran to have any kind of effect of what you fucking wore and how how hot your fucking sister's arse is. I don't give a damn, right? <laughs> that essentially is it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Have you seen me, sister? Let it go, fucker. Let it go. Stop pimping your own flesh and blood to the nation like that. That is just creepy and wrong. Do you know what else is creepy and wrong? I don't know. I don't know, but let's find out. Let's find out what else is creepy and wrong. Oh, very much so. I'm glad I went with that particular <laughs> lead into this. Nothing drove the Nazis forward than the rhythmic beat of the Moog. Nothing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Nothing kept them marching. Under their breaths in German going, I just can't get enough sex. No, no, Herman, it's not sex at the end of that line. That is merely a disco joke. Don't do the disco joke here, because on the way to Russia, it is not fucking funny. My arms <laughs> froze off yesterday. I just can't get enough. Boo, I just can't. And always one guy winking with a small tash. Fuck him, right? <laughs> Fuck him and his fucking rhythmic electro pop beats. Craft work, we're just sympathizers. Okay, let's chat to that has got to stop. If I can guess any of the many things that have to stop over the course of this quite literally blind rant, ladies and gentlemen. The one of which is the intoxicating beats that they're laying down, because fuck it, they're going to turn up everywhere. Okay, that's just. But here's the one thing that really, if there's anything that cheers me up in a difficult time like this, ladies and gentlemen, it is my profound belief. Uh, <laughs> profound belief that we can't just be a random collection of molecules, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way that makes even sense. For fuck's sakes, Dawkins, what kind of tool are you anyway? Right, so he made me turn 180 on this whole fucking topic, ladies and gentlemen, because I realized, what, what? Wouldn't it be better if we and the dinosaurs had lived together? That would have been great, ladies and gentlemen. Me, the dinosaur about 4,000 years ago, just hanging out, fashioning fossils out of rocks that are lying around, and then planting them and going, hee -hee. And the T-Rex going, you're a cheeky one. And me going, no, it's going to fuck with their heads. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait till they find this. And they build an entire intellectual edifice around it. And I fucking made it. Let's do another trilobite. <laughs> That's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. I profoundly believe that to be the case. And I will not accept any argument on this. Uh, how fucking quick am I doing this? Uh, so, <laughs> is there a danger that I may be missing glorious comedy opportunities? because I'm just giving you the punchy bit. You know, it's a tough gig, it's a corporate, so I feel I should just give you the highlights, right? <laughs> it's just when I'm here. You know, if it was a club gig, I might relax more. If it was in Edinburgh, I might spin the things out and go, hey, you know, it really means something to me. But fuck it, you guys are on a Christmas party. You just want to hear a few quick laughs about creationism and just can't get enough sex. Shut up, Gunter. Let it go, for fuck's sake. <laughs> for five seconds, let it go and let these people get to the disco part of the evening so they can ride each other and photocopy their own artists. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you, ladies and gentlemen, but you Jungler's crowds are a bitch. Okay, so. 
I didn't know there was another one. There is a fucking another one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we were on to the almost the last one, but no, they slid a fucking movie homage into the middle of it. Yeah, it's good. Why? We never see the head. We never see the fucking head. It could have been anything. It literally could have been anything. What the fuck? A turnip? That guy's a prick. He's fucking... How dare he present us with a turnip in a box and then we got all excited about it. We're in the middle of a fucking... Where are all these electricity lines going to exactly with the humming and the no helicopters? And now we're out here and we only have a turnip for company. No wonder Pitt got furious. No wonder I got Pitt... I don't even like turnip. Swede, maybe. But I want to get home to my fucking sexy wife who's still alive in this particular version of the film and there's no reason to doubt it any reason that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'm Darwin. Good night, goodbye, good luck. Get out of here.